Hey folks, Species7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 15. We are here on our little French map, Fairbell. So, I'm just finishing, I don't know why I swerved the other way, this guy can pretty much turn this thing around in its own width. Uh, just finishing the last cultivating on our third cornfield here. So, um... I'm afraid this field is not exactly worker-friendly in shape, so <laughs> had to, uh, although you can, it's, it's kind of funny, you know, once you get used to this game, it's funny how you can figure out how to get the workers to still do a giant portion of a really bizarrely shaped field with very little input, you know, so you can at least still manage to do your other farming things. Um, like I have finished the harvest and I have most of the straw off of the field. That is most, of course. And the last little bit. There we go. Excellent. This is a horrible old tractor. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but it is. I mean, it works just fine. It's just, wow. You know? Um, considering it's got some pretty crazy horsey power. It slows down like a bugger on hills. Um, has a, well, less than monumental top speed. And doesn't really seem to quite simulate the weight it should have under all circumstances. <laughs> That's quite the hell, my goodness. Now I guess at some point we are going to have to cultivate this field, aren't we? I just haven't figured out what I want to use it for yet. Huh. Oh well. Because it's kind of got like trees right in the middle and stuff. Yeah. So who knows, we may use a section of it for something or... Eh, maybe at some point we'll get into an orchard. I can't really say. Well, that is one that we had. No, we actually had corn on that field, didn't we? Yes, we did. Come to think of it. That's right, I've already cultivated it. I could tell by all the skip points <laughs> where there was real divots in the field and the cultivator just sort of went, No. Do I look like I'm made of rubber? I can't fit in that hole. Alrighty. And here we are. What is affectionately known as the end of the road. Alright. We were right above the farm, but there is no back entrance, so... It does require us to take a rather circuitous... Uh, never mind. English is not my strong suit today. Circuitous route. <laughs> my goodness. Alright, so where do we want to park the big orange monster? I don't really want to take it into the uh, busy barn up the road, so... We'll have to see. Of course, back in one of these things, though. Some people can make this look good, I ain't one of them. And a little bit sharper and straightener out. Well, that's alright. It's kind of right in the middle, but... <laughs> Believe me, that could have come out worse. Indeed. Now, the straw, I have about half of it picked up, and what I've been doing, I have dumped a couple of trailer fulls into our straw storage, which is in with the rest of the grains. Um, the rest of it, about, I believe, three trailer loads, actually, I dumped into the compost plant, because I would really like, when we get our first... Uh, first stuff planted to be able to have an organic fertilizer for it because that is part of the deal on this map we will only be using organic fertilizers now the other thing I wanted to do we might as well use this guy since we're kind of sitting in the cockpit Really? You 
do not have a lower hitch. Okay. No, fair enough. I mean, you know, it also doesn't have a front PTO, so. Kind of limits what this tractor can do, and I don't know that I'm that fond of that, because I'm pretty sure we can get into this kind of. Man, dang, that thing is filthy. This kind of horsepower for about the same sort of money in an older tractor, you know. But what I actually want to do. So I see there is a new release of uh, the other map we're playing, Grazy Land, that includes the 2015 version of the Soil Mod. Yeah, so kind of interesting. The only... I have already downloaded the map, and I do have it in a folder with the Soil Mod. Um, a couple things. One, I'd kind of like to see if they don't almost immediately update the soil mod. Because things like that, I remember in... Two, yeah, this guy definitely can pick this up. I remember in 2013 that um, it wasn't exactly a bug-free experience right from out the door. And you kind of got to expect that. There's a lot of variables, right? Especially in a mod like that. And it's quite a complex version of it, I'll give it that. Is indeed. Ooh, oh, <laughs> here I was just about to say, ooh, we just fit. Yeah, you do if you know how to drive. Um, so yeah, I'm sort of waiting to see if they don't almost immediately release another. Why would you put that stuff there? Ah, oh, man. Hmm. Makes you awful tempted to leave this uh, silo empty. <laughs> Speaking of which, I actually should grab a shovel full and throw it into the mixer. It uh, comes up telling me it's empty. Now, I did make sure we had some. Am I under it? No, apparently not. Am I under it now? Uh, Oh, is this the one that only takes? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, what a waste. That's right. I discovered that last time. This is, uh... I mean, there's one identical to this that takes everything plus mixed seeds, and then there's this one that takes only, or not mixed seeds, uh, the pickled seeds from the Seed Master. Right, and then there's that one which only takes those. That's right. And that's what came on the map was that one, right? Yeah. See, there's this version of it. For 10k that takes everything. And then... There's this one. For a thousand less. Same volume etc and it only takes that much and you know what since it's now empty i think we're gonna sell that okay and we're gonna buy one of these um what's the default color well i don't care since they're giving us a choice we're gonna get it my favorite color there we go now Zippity-doo. Now, I could have used the Marshall trailer, obviously, to just simply go and grab us a little bit of wheat. However, I have not done so. So, yeah, that field is... I'm just going to say, completely ready for seeding. I'm such an idiot. Well, I traded our... Uh, manure spreader. <coughs> Excuse me traded it in for the one that you see here reason being this one will also do compost so and as I said since I have filled up that particular facility to Z max we will require uh, a spreader that can make use of it 
And that one actually worked out to be within a few hundred bucks of the trade-in price of the other one, so that didn't hurt. Okay, now, what I wanted to do, this is why I started this whole project. Alright. Thank you very much. Fill her up, Billy Bob. And I'll take the full 50. So, I mean, why would you just not have this one? You know, it takes 50% more product in volume. And it takes a thousand more things. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a nice little trailer. It's the exact same model. And of course, with that said, being the exact same model, perhaps it's incredibly unreasonable that it is the same volume. Or, I mean, 50% larger volume. And uh, that's where you park your cedar, huh? You are such a peanut. Damn, dude. Why do you make your own life so difficult? Whoops. Whee! Hmm? Is there a reason? Alright. Let's put you back where I wanted you to be to start with. Which was beside this unit. And it's fine to park it there, because I'm never going to use the uh, fertilizer tanks. Like I say, one of the deals that the city has here, Fairbell City, if you can call it that, the town, that you use only green fertilizers. Of course, we've already broken one of the city rules. I realized that the last time. You're uh, supposed to plant a tree for every tree you cut down. Of course... I do not have <laughs> the means to plant trees right now. What can I say? No more free space. That's all it takes, really? Hmm. I know they were running an upgraded model of that on uh, one of the maps we ran, and it seems to me it would take a huge amount. Like we could empty this trailer in more than once. Oh well. Not a big deal, we'll go tip this out. Do, 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 do. There you are. Awesome. You're just who I'm looking for, actually. Alright. Tippy canoe and dump your seeds too. Alright, well I know where I'm going. I'll be right back, dude. Yes, indeedy. Climb in our little iker. Goes pretty good, yeah, I do like this tractor. I do, I do. Now... Oops. <laughs> when all else fails, leap out of the tractor for no apparent reason. Alright, now, park this up so that when these seeds are ready, it'll actually fill up our trailer. There we go. Perfect. It's already got a little bit in it. Nice. Now we can keep that pit topped up. So. Oh, I'm sorry. I do seem to have a hard time seeing that ginormous bucket, don't I? Alright, there we go. Doop doo doop doop doo. And... That's a pretty cherry looking uh, compost spreader, actually. I do like the look of that. Yeah, we still gotta get uh, a device to clear up this uh, scrap wood supply here, too. I was looking for a... Uh, more reasonably priced logging trailer, i.e. something small that we could just fire behind a tractor, that didn't necessarily have a crane arm on it. And that seems to be the cinch. Like, there's many, many of them, and for some reason, they all want to have that crane arm on them. 
kind of thinking of trading this little guy in. I got a cool little Renault mod I'd like to try. It's orange too, so we're cool there. No, I haven't found a Kubota yet. If any of you find a Kubota tractor mod, let me know. Because, of course, that's what I'd like to have. Alrighty, here we go. Turn her all on, and let's roll with a bunch. Okay. Yeah, I've already done the rest, as you can see. So we're just down to this. And I believe we have a couple of trailers worth at least in storage, which is where I just was. And then, like I said, I have completely filled the Zacompost Masta. Yes, indeed. So we will see how that turns out rather quickly, actually. I need to uh, obviously prepare the field that we uh, just harvested. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that would be this one, of course. <laughs> and then... Well, I do have two other fields that are ready to take crops. I suppose I should keep that in mind. Because all things considered, it might be smarter to keep this one as our cornfield and use it to keep the silage up and uh, that sort of thing. And then, uh, yeah, use the two up the hill for grains. Grains. Because when it grains, it pours. <laughs> yeah, no one ever heard that one before. All right. And cut her in there. And this row should pretty much do it. And we got five rows left. Oh. So another almost two trailers after this one. No, well, perhaps a little less because we may not actually fill up on this row. Might have to take a part of the next one. I do believe our little Mengel wagon here holds 25,000 liters. Oh, I can't wait to get into some animals. This is the first map I've started in 2015 where I haven't uh, at least started us with 10 of a kind, you know? There we go. We won't need much from here and we're full. Off we go. Rum, 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 rum. Oh, let's jump out here for a moment. It's a little brighter out here in the world. I think we'll just zip through here and across the road. Although I'm pretty sure there's a vehicle coming. Yep, there he is. And there's the one the other side. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I wonder if I can take any more in here. Just before we get carried away with it. Although, I know you guys don't want any. We have already done what we can do along that line. Yeah, it's giving me a tippy. Alright, because they hold 50,000, so it will hold two trailers. Nice. That'll keep that topped up for a while. Now we can see the uh, spout going up there. If you look, you see it has a marker on the side of the tank. Now, slowly crawling towards the top. We've still got a little bit of grass in there by the look of it. But I know we are completely out of... There we are. It took the two trailers and it's full. I know we are completely out of uh, mixed rations. So I will need to run the loader bucket once or twice. <laughs> yeah, I know. Eh, just play the odds, what the heck, right? What the heck? Alright, let's suck some more up. See, I'm really kind of torn as to whether I want to just, uh... Scrap the, uh... 
Grazy Land map and start with the Soil Mod one. From what I've seen, I think it's the first one out there that has incorporated the uh, Soil Mod to work. Or uh, switch to Banticow. Because I do like this map. I don't know about you guys, but I do think Fairvale's a really nice map. And I think we'll do pretty cool on it. I like that things are close, you know. Whereas both Grazy Land and Banticow do have a little bit of distance. I mean, from here to our grass meadow is the furthest we pretty much have to drive. Actually, from here to the uh, biocast. Because we have to drive to the grass meadow and then up around the corner. But, uh... That's it. So this, is, this has the advantage of being nice and small, and I do like a smaller map. And the whole thing with Grazy Land is even if they do, right, or I mean, even though they have added the soil mod, which is a really cool thing, and I'm looking forward to trying it like crazy, um, we would use all stock equipment, of course, unless something was required to make the mods work. But uh, the thing I don't like is the fact that all of the fields, you've got to run headlands to, you got to do all of that because of all the trees. So, that gets pretty annoying. And I did just clear out all the trees on the farm itself. And you can see our hired worker wasn't all that concerned with... You know... There's cattle starving in the world and you leave all that wheat on the field. So, yeah. Well, one more run and we will have all of our straw collected. Which is a nice thing. Now, I wonder if the biogas breaks straw down or just grain. I think just grains. Eh? Maybe we should run a uh, cart full of corn out there. Because we do have so much darn corn. That might be a thought, eh? Something to do. And then I can pick up the last little bit of straw off camera and cultivate that field so we can decide what we want to plant there we go I think that's like uh, four tractors no I don't particularly want you but I'll hop off of you right here right now um, yeah we'll take the Iker Jordan whoa <laughs> nice Um, where have you got your weight? Okie dokie. Just making sure it wasn't on the back. Because I did have it on there earlier. So, what I want to do... I think I just hit the... Uh, yeah, I really don't like the spawn point here. You are... I guess they're just trying to encourage you to simply drive across the road to the store and pick it up, you know? It's not like it's a huge distance. Alright. So it's been a long time since I've used the Marshall trailers. I liked them a lot back in the 2013 pack. They were certainly one of the better ones to use. We'll see how the 2015s behave. Yeah, the Marshall trailer and the, uh, Gilbert trailers. I really liked. Oops. Pull forward a little more there. What do we want? No. No. Corn. Yes, please. Gimme, gimme that golden corn. I'm not sure what this guy holds. I might have been better off to just simply take the truck. And yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll, uh... Eh. Well, I don't really want to sell the truck. Ooh. I don't like her. It's getting a little bit of trouble pulling this puppy. I don't really want to sell the truck, but it is a little bit... Because it's... Uh, or it's this trailer, I mean. Because, in all honesty, the truck is... A little bit long in the, uh... Grain storage bar. 
so that can be a bit of a problem. I feel like I've maybe got too much front weight on this tractor, even with the uh, trailer. I mean, we're up to speed, but just feeling a little mushy. Well, this might not have been the smartest thing I've ever done. <laughs> of course, it's certainly not going to be the most foolish. You have to walk a long... Okay. Walk a long block to score that one. There we are. <laughs> we'll just knock that miserable sign out of the way. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, let me switch to outside view. Yeah, okay, let's watch the carnage large scale. Yeah, man. It's just craziness, man. I'm gonna uh, cut straight across here because I know the road just goes downhill anyway. Although we don't want to uh, cut straight across because there is a bit of a hill here, I think. Probably just enough of one to send me willy-nilly down into the fence there so I could get the start from scratch. So you can see here we're down to where our meadow field is. And it wouldn't hurt us to cut another... Uh, Great swath of grass. There's our meadow up there. And I believe our uh, Forshrit is still sitting there. And through here, Lolly Paluga. Mm -hmm. We go past all the warehouses, all of that sort of stuff. Hmm. We come to the most rectangular field on the entire map. Yeah, you can see this uh, biker is really struggling with this trailer. There we go. And up on the hill. Yes, this amazing giant hill in the middle of this perfectly rectangular field, although it's about as flat as a piece of rumpled newspaper. As you can see, see it's perfectly flush there at the top. <laughs> We've got like a 60 foot embankment there. Same thing, I dropped a couple of those new piggy mods down there in the end. Boy, oh boy. Come on, Geek. I don't know if I can stop on this hill and then make it to going again. Come on, baby. <clears throat> Wowzer Bowser, man. Corn is not accepted. Really? I would have figured that would have been one of the... Uh, Huh. Highest producing uh, energy grains there was. Well, what do you know? What do you know? Well, that was very much a waste of time. That's okay. I believe... <clears throat> There's actually a sell point here. And seeing as we do have a quarter of a million... Whoa. <laughs> no entrance. Are you cereal? You're going to be that much of a stickler, eh? That's an exit only. Man. Come on, then. Whoa, that's... Oh, yeah, that is, too, eh? Wow. Quite the angle. Yeah, I think this poor old Iker is going to blow a gasket here if I keep dragging this thing around. I mean, he seems to handle it all right, but... Eh, yeah, well, man. Let's off this bit of corn. Oh yeah, this is an innie. <laughs>
Really? Do I have a open says me thing here anywhere? I don't think so. Hmm. Maybe this isn't a tip point. Yeah, did the idiot. Yeah, it's definitely not giving me any sort of a please tip here kind of thing. Hmm. <coughs> well, I'm not sure. I was hoping this would be a easy way to flog this bit of corn, but apparently nobody wants our corn. Good thing they started us off with three fields full. <laughs> Come on. Won't you close on me? You're going to open for somebody going down the street and you're going to slam on your own customer? Come on. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm not a customer because you won't buy my product. Alright, come on. Does it help if you're a little more aerodynamic with the, like, lightning bolt? Does that make you go faster? Apparently not, eh? And you're an all-wheel drive in the whole nine yards. Yikes. here because anywhere we save time is a bonus right now. There we go. Hello. Hello everybody. Crazy out of control farmer with big heavy wagon. Help me. Big corner. Eh. We'll just go a little wide. Nobody will notice that. There we are. Just like Mario Android and I. Mm -hmm. We're catching up to traffic. This could be bad. Well, I gotta admit, they do do a reasonable speed. I've seen way worse on maps. Climbing your little 40 horsepower Hurley, but then you're stuck behind traffic going down the road. Whoa. Hmm. So, what else can we do with our corn then? Compost plant is full. What about this place? Again, this is one of our mods and it should produce. Oh, it's 100% full. I've already filled this completely with grain, so both of these installations are full. Cool. get out this way? New? No. Oh yeah, sure. Right there. And of course, we don't have to worry about that fertilizer sale point, because that's not something we will be doing. Um, oh, come on. Oh, really? <laughs> Did you guys see that? I'm stopped here, so this car rams me right off the road. Oh, is this another one of these? You can only come in one side. Why did they do that? Alright, so what's this one? Just doing a quick tour of the map here, guys, in case you were wondering what the heck we were doing. <laughs> oh, I think this is the uh, bioheat. Yeah, alrighty. So we don't want to be in here in particular, because they don't take corn. Wood pellets, wood chips, cool. All right, so 
You guys can keep driving down your imaginary road. Open, open, open. <laughs> Surely you'll buy corn. Come on. Huh, wonder why they have to pop the top off to dump it. Oh well, at least we're making a little bit of money. And the key word here is a little. Alright. Cool. Hmm. Well, we've accomplished next to nothing here today, I've got to admit. Uh. Although I think, seeing as this trailer, it's a little bit too much for the tractor. And we don't have anywhere near the funds to buy a more powerful tractor. I think we're just going to off this trailer for the moment. Alright. Nice trailer, but it's too heavy for our gear. There we go. Eh, yeah, 12.6, sure. Alrighty. I mean, the only tractor we have, actually, that's uh, more powerful than this one, oops, might as well go out here, is the uh, Steiger, or the Steiger, the big, uh, yeah, it's a, the big Raba. And, uh, I don't really want to be using that for pulling trailers around, to be honest with you. Oh, I meant to pick up that other trailer from the store. I'm such a doofus. <laughs> Well, I think, guys, that that's probably going to do it for today. Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll go and grab that other trailer. Then, we'll see if we can't fill it with compost. The support is still lowered. Whoa. Well, thank you for telling me that. I guess we need to go here. Attach PTO to tractor. Uh-oh. There we go. And... Where are oh, raised support is V. Well, very nice. That's a decent looking little mod, isn't it? Not bad. Grindy, grindy, smacky, smacky. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. We do need something a little bigger than this hiker in the long run, don't we? Well, we'll see how that goes. So we shall. Now... I'm not sure if you can get a direct load or if I have to actually bring the uh, front loader down here and put that bucket thing on it. Hmm. Well, apparently that answers that question. We are filling up with compost. Cool. Alright, 12,500. Oh look, it looks like nice black soil too. Oh, very cool. Alright, let's take this back. Yeah, this hiker is struggling a little bit with this trailer, too. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe we should just buy one of those Taurus tractors that I was using on the other map and just use that as our main pulling tractor. Okay, well, very nice. Hmm. I'm not sure what the uh, spreading width is because it's not listed on the uh, it might have been on the website but it's not listed in the specs when you buy it and I don't remember what it was from the website to be honest with you now I wonder if I don't lower that thing if it will auto lower or will this drop to the ground and I'll have to reset it to get it uh, 
back the way I want it. I guess the smart thing to do, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> would simply go Q, V, <coughs> there we go, and then <coughs> untach. There right on. Well, nice, that's a very nice model. We'll have to see how it does when we're actually ready to spread some. And what are you doing out there? Did I park you like that all goofy? Probably. <laughs> uh, I won't blame the tractor. I probably parked it goofy. So 50 grand, eh? Yeah. I think we'll make a few changes before the next episode, guys. A little bit different. So, uh, till then, though, I think we're done here for today. We accomplished a little bit anyway. <laughs> and a little bit is better than none at all. So, I will gather up the rest of the straw. There's not a whole lot left, thankfully. And that should uh, get this field ready. We can cultivate it. So, till next time, this has been Species 7 for Farm Sim 15. Please hit that like button, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to share, favorite, all that stuff. And, most importantly, take care of each other, folks. Ciao for now.